Welcome to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. This is Dayton Bruce, and what a day it should be. One of the league's great traditions, it's the NBA All-Star Game. Here to call the action, Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. I'll be back with more at halftime. Starting five for both teams. First for the West All-Stars. Steph Curry's out there with Harden. And filling in at the center position, the seven-footer with a silky touch. And the master of the fadeaway jump shot, Dirk Nowitzki. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Davis in at the fourth. And for the East. You know, I think one thing that makes the All-Star game so special is just the history involved. This event has been held since 1951. And a lot of those legends of the NBA past are here in the And there's the first bucket of the game. Yeah, that's a nice tone setter out of the gate. Now, when the players step out on the court, you know, Steve, they know that they're writing their names in the pages of history. Yeah, they're, they're really making their mark uh, on this Sunday night. But at the same time, you know, they've just got to focus on playing the game. And, and uh, sometimes you get caught up in the atmosphere and, and the moment. Uh, but for these players, it's all about just focusing on the game and, and trying to enjoy themselves. Let's send it over to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Mike Budenholz. Doris? If Coach had any butterflies in his stomach about coaching the All-Stars, he didn't let any of it come out. He said it was for the fans, and even though he's in charge of the best players in the NBA, his only coaching advice was to go out and have fun. Guys? Thanks, Doris. And the East All-Stars making a change here. On to Takumbo's check in. You know, it's always such a big to-do, a major event, a big time happening every time the All-Star game comes to town. Cities buy to host a big show, and it's a big boom to the local economy. Yeah, restaurants, hotels, nightlife. It's one big celebration, and there's always that buzz in the air every time the All-Stars gather to play. Well, I guess you'd call this weekend maybe the greatest pickup game on Earth. Does <laughs> that make sense, Clark? It sure does, and I agree with you. I mean, there's no doubt. Oh, unbelievable. How did he do that? <laughs> The solo alley-oop. That's not something we see too often. Uh, timed it perfectly. You're right. And uh, caught the defense totally off guard. I remember Tracy McGrady doing that. First guy I ever saw pull that off. Leonard attacking. Rejected by Ando Takumbo. Pushing it up. Jumps up. Oh, and the jam by the point. He's giving the fans a show right now, Clark. Letting it loose on the rim that time. Yeah, you can't overlook the fact there's not too much resistance. And I think that extra freedom lets some of the guys really push the limit on the dunk meter. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. The pass to Andre DeCumbo. No good off the front iron. And the defense got away with a major lapse there. Leonard attacking. Can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Andetokounmpo. LeBron, left side. And the rejection by Harden. Outside Curry. Left side Curry. Harden outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. So far, so good for them at the offensive end here in the early going. Boy, the field goal percentage is fantastic. Exactly the kind of start they were hoping for. Irving against Nowitzki. A shot's good from Irving. Irving's got five points so far. But he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. That is his first foul of the game. Looked to me like the defender didn't get squared up and get his feet set. Good work by the officials. A nice call. That play can be tough to judge sometimes. It's tipped. Curry against Irving. Six on the shot clock. 
There's the triple. That drops. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Harden gets to Leonard. Number 15. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. A high-quality shot is almost always going to come off a rebound like that. And Clark, he is so good at working his way inside, holding off the defenders under the glass, and being in the right position. He knows how to use his body. Yeah, and I just like the way he consistently pursues the pumpkin. <laughs> Here's Leonard. Sinks that one from the post. Leonard's got 10 points. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. LeBron passes to Onda Dekumbo. And on the way from Irving for three. That's good. Boy, the bucket's coming fast and furious. All offense out there, but that's what this game is all about. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. LeBron drives in. Back to Irving. This one for three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. 11 points for Kyrie Irving. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. So the West ends up going with the new group. Well, playing in the All-Star game, something to really be proud of. And, of course, the starters are voted in by the fans. The reserves are voted in by the coaches. Either way, it's a heck of an honor. And the shot is good. Well, a lot of great stories for all of these players, but he's definitely been one with a standout season part. You know, Steve, I've loved watching his tenacity. He's had a clear sense of focus. He's brought his A game on a consistent basis, night in and night out. I mean, he's been a huge factor for this team this season. One oh two left in the first quarter of the game. West All Stars with the rebound. Steve, you talk about the starters and the reserves. Unlike in regular games, in an All Star game, everyone gets a chance to play. Yeah, and I think the hardest part for the coaches, Kevin, is distributing those minutes because everybody is deserving. Everyone's a great player, and usually what happens is the starters get the most minutes because uh, the coaches understand that that's the, what, what, who the fans have voted on there and that's, uh, that's who they want to see. Back to Curry. The dish to Harden. No good on the three. You know, they've been beating this club to a lot of loose points. Oh, get it! Oh, 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 oh. That never gets old. I love seeing that type of athletic play. Yeah, I agree with you. And if any of you viewers at home missed the dunk contest last night, just soak up a few of these slams like that. Back to Durant. Shot is off. Great D that time from Love. And Sarge kicks to Love. Pass to Love. From past the arc. That ball's nice feed that time from Kyle Love. Well, the All-Star game deep is in full effect. They typically clamp it down in the second half. Here's Saric. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. East All-Star. A great event unfolding. One quarter of basketball already played. And welcome back, everyone, to this year's coverage of the NBA All-Star game. And, Kevin, both teams percolating now. Yeah, so there's a really game jitters out of the way, Clark. Both teams settling into a group. And, Kevin, what I like about him is that he tends to get hot at the most opportune times. It doesn't matter if it's coming out of a halftime or out of a timeout. Uh, he just has a knack for heating up in a hurry. And, you know, against him, Steve, as an opponent, you need to make sure you're making smart, crisp passes because he's so good at picking off the sloppy loose ones. Well, one thing we're noticing here tonight, both teams pretty much taking care of the ball, which is impressive in a game like this. Yeah, it really is, Steve. I mean, typically in a game like this, the players and teams can be a little loose, but that hasn't been the case so far. Well, you know, you always want your side to win, but I, I think it's pretty common that you, you don't see too many fouls in these games year to year. Steve, you're exactly right. I mean, I think we usually see a few here and there because guys are also reacting based on instinct, playing the game similar to how they know how to play basketball. But aside from that, you usually aren't going to see too many whistles. He dishes it to Miles. The trade. Another lead change. How many of these are we going to have? 
I don't know, Steve, but the momentum of this game has certainly swung like a Benjamin. Here's Leonard. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Leonard's got eight points in the quarter. And, fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. And the East All-Stars decide to take their first time out here. The East making a slip. He kicks it to Lowry. Number six. You know what? Curry with the defensive effort. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Here's Nowitzki. Leonard. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. When you're hot, you're hot. And that's certainly been the case for Leonard. He has 18 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. Yeah, that's been an important part of his game today. He's made his open looks. Well, you kind of expect that from him. You pretty much know what the result's going to be when he goes to the line. Number 17. And Durant with the block. Now, here's Curry. He's guarded close. Harden dishes to Nowitzki. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the West All-Stars. Boy, great hustle uh, defensively through two quarters of play. Contesting everything. Starting to rack up those block shots, guys. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is working hard on the offensive glass. They've had a number of putbacks. And the East All-Stars making a change here. James has checked in. Curry against Lowry. Durant attacking. Back to Curry. Six to shoot. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Pass to LeBron. LeBron is doubled. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That'll be his second foul of the game. Mm, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happened. Turner's checked in for the East. Kyrie Irving comes in for Kyle Lowry. And that one's good, Irving. Timeout called here. The West All-Stars decide to talk it over. The West All-Stars making a switch here. Westbrook's checked in. Irving's gone 5 of 7 from the field. That's uh, over 71% action. Here's Leonard. Oh, good with the triple. Well, he's done a bit of black hole offensively. Yeah, and in the all-star game, Steve, that's not a good move. I mean, I think sharing the ball is really important. And the East All-Stars making a change here. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And Harden comes to help. Pass to Irving. Shot clock at six. Number six. No good from outside. Well, that defense went from poor to no defense at all. Well, you don't see him miss that shot very often. When he's open like that, it usually lights out. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Leonard brings the double team. Irving passes to LeBron. And it's good. Here's Nowitzki, and that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And I think Kumpo's checked in for the East. A minute 50 left to play in the first half. And it's going to be out of bounds. They'll keep possession. That was an awfully risky pass, guys. Lucky it didn't wind up as a steal. Well, it nearly did wind up as a steal, but no harm done in the end. They hang on to possession. And Durant gets it to go. Well, the number one priority for a defense uh, when you face this guy is to keep him getting anywhere from the basket because he's just so strong as a finisher. And, you know, he is an extremely skilled player attacking off the dribble, too. I mean, he's got a great pull-up jumper as well, Steve. And the pass goes out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. Really poor decision on that pass. On offense, here are the West All-Stars. 
Left side Durant. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Well, he had a lot of success at the free throw line in their last game. He really did. He didn't waste any of those chances when he got them. And so he hits the technical free throw. 114 left in the first half. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Durant's got five points now this quarter. What a great little run he's on here in the quarter. Stolen by Durant. And now here's Durant, the fast break opportunity. And he's going up for the alley oop. Oh, the alley oop connection. That's all star play at its best. Guys, we have seen them with a lot of good ball movement. Well, you like the smooth operating they're showing you here. I mean, things are clicking, and more importantly, it makes them tough to defend. Yeah, there's no agenda. I mean, the ball's just moving to whoever is open. And as a result, they've kind of developed a clicking uh, pace to their game. It's been fun to watch. And Westbrook pulls it down. Oh, well, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamorous steps. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Harden outside. The feed to Leonard. The three. And no one able to grab it as it goes out of bounds. Six seconds left to play here in the half. One second left, and again, Kyrie Irving. Now, just a two-point West All-Star lead. That mid-range jumper, just another one of his weapons. Now, presented by Sprint. And on the Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we return to the NBA All-Star Game. One half is in the books, and the second half about to begin. And a great first half of basketball it was. Well, it's been a lot of fun, and we'll see if they can take it up a notch here in the second half. And the ball travels out of bounds. Turnover. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. And the West All-Stars have possession. A two-point game. Leonard attacking and stolen by LeBron. Knocked away, and that's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. Irving, good look, and he hits it to tie the game up. Irving's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the East All-Stars. Leonard attacking, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. The West All-Stars shooting their 7th and 8th attempts at the foul line tonight. And the first one at the line is good. Leonard hits them both. And here are the East All-Stars now. And LeBron moves it down hard! Plenty of big boy finishes at the rim. Uh, you combine the talent level and the lax defense, you're going to see some big-time guns. Harden kicks to Nowitzki. He passes to Leonard. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. And that's now 27 points for Kawhi Leonard. Now, here is Irving. 21 points in the game. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Nothing but money for him to start the half. They've made all three of their shot attempts. Curry kicks to Harden. Dives for it. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. LeBron against Leonard. LeBron dishes to Irving. And the jumper falls for him. Irving's got 25 points. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the league. Here's West now. Outside curve. Leonard covered by LeBron. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Curry. Curry's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Outside Irving. Here's LeBron. They get it again. 
Four for five so far. That's their first miss of the second half. Curry with it. Guarded now by Irving. And they turn it over. Stepped in the line that time. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a that's a that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Eight points for LeBron. Boy, that mid-range jumper is a beautiful thing to have in your bag, and they've had it going today. Yeah, but look down at the other end of the court. The same has not held true. And Clark and Steve, as we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, exactly right, Kevin. I mean, these teams just simply keep trading baskets, and as a result, trading the lead. Yeah, neither side really able to create much of a cushion at all. So, well, which team can make a little run here? We'll see. Tries it for 19. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Now it's a four-point East All-Star lead. Nowitzki for three. Can't get it to go. The East All-Stars go the other way with it. LeBron outside. Tipped away. Russell Westbrook's checked in for James Harden. Outside Westbrook. Outside Leonard. Back to Westbrook. Takes a three. Gets the bucket. Westbrook's got five. That's three in a row, guys. Three three-pointers consecutively. These guys are just raining in shots. Yeah, the defenders can't be as soft as they've been on the perimeter there. And that one's good. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. No question. Pound it into the painted area and continue to put pressure on that defense. Leonard, the pass to Kerr. Three-pointer. Rejected by Irving. LeBron James on the wing. That one wide left. It's a close game here in Toronto. Westbrook drives in. Here's Leonard. That's blocked. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. And the East All-Stars making a change here. Davis kicks to Curry. Just five on the clock. Here's the lob to the hoop. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. We've got 128 left here in the third quarter. Lowry kicks to Sarge. Irving lets it go from deep. Westbrook pulls it in. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they've chased down that pumpkin off. Tries to save it. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. He's gutsy. That's what I really respect about him. It seems like the more pressure there is, the more he enjoys the moment. So he is the guy you want taking the big shot at the end of the game. What I love about watching him play, Steve, is his terrific agility and body control. Even with the multiple defenders closing in, he contorts his body at angles that really give him a chance to make shots from weird positions all the time. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. The West All-Stars making a switch here. Conley for three. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. And at their last five makes, all have been from long range. Yeah, and the defense has not done a good job of pressing in and denying. I mean, they're hanging back, playing on their heels. They're not being the aggressors here. The offense is taking advantage of it. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented, for plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. Yeah. did it? it was a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. Back to Harden. To tie. It's all in by the East All-Stars. Turner's got three rebounds so far in the game. LeBron wishes to allow it. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And it's a six-point East All-Star lead. 
Conley inside the line, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. Well, it's been an exciting game. We've been having a great time here. We hope you have been, too. The All-Star Game coverage continues. Thanks again for tuning in here to 2K Sports. Both teams put it on the show. Boy, it sure has been fun to watch, hasn't it? Here's LeBron. Misses off the right iron. That's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. Back to Leonard. Leonard, and it's Irving missing. Westbrook with it. Outside Conley. Leonard against Irving. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. The scoring breakdown for the East All-Stars. From mid-range, it's been a very nice game for them. I mean, they've been finding the bottom of the net a lot. And that's helped with their passing game, too, because they're getting a lot of assists by sharing the ball and moving. LeBron passes to Irving. All sorts of time. And right on target. Good. Unstoppable offense from both teams. I love the pace this game has been played at. So does everybody else in the building. This has been a fun one. Got that one up quick. 35 points for Kawhi Leonard. And we've seen a few mix-ups defensively out there on the perimeter. More than a few. I mean, the open looks they've allowed from long range have turned into a lot of points. Stephen Curry's checked in for the West. Now Irving. Feeds to LeBron. Number 10. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his sixth assist on the night. That is his shot, guys. So you can't just give it to him. You've got to get up on him and get into his airspace there. That's 12 straight points coming off three-pointers. I mean, somebody do something defensively. Well, I, I agree with you. I mean, who's going to step up? Um, they're rolling out there now, so you got to get in their chest, make them uncomfortable, and try to deny those looks. Irving kicks to LeBron. It's stolen by Curry. Outside Leonard. Westbrook dishes to Leonard. Back to Westbrook. Another shot. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. And all the Quimbos check in for LeBron. Kevin, this is a strong free throw shooting team, and they've stayed true to form so far, converting with outstanding accuracy. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block, but that one's going to count. Leonard on the wing. Good. Nothing but nothing. Leonard's got 42 in the game. Kicks it to Irving. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. And there's the pass to Andre Jacumbo. Off target from outside. Now Davis. Dishes it to Leonard. Back to Curry to take the lead. And the shot is good. They've stepped up their three-point shooting game in the second half. They're letting it fly out there with reckless abandon. Now they're feeling confident, and they're in a good flow offensively, so why not just keep firing from out there? No luck for him this half after being outstanding from outside the arc in the first half. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. That's one of the better jams you'll ever see right there. Yeah, you know, some guys come out the high fly or some of the bigs, and they just say, hey, I'm going to throw it down with authority tonight. I love that attitude. Nothing wrong with it in my book. Now a timeout called by the West All-Stars. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. They don't seem to have any answers for him. They need to review their game plan and look for a way to cool him off. The West All-Stars making a switch here. Outside Curry. Durant the pass to Curry. 
back to Durant for the three. And it's Kyrie Irving with the rebound. Irving's got his third rebound on the night. And it's sent back by George. And it ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Here's Honda Takumbo. And he gets it to go from the corner. The West All-Stars with the ball. Durant attacking. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. The first free throw is good. The West All-Stars making a switch here. Leonard's checked in. And so he hits both. That was critical, guys. Absolutely critical. And, you know, that's what we're used to seeing out of him. Down low. Here's Turner. Goes back up. And that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. Ooh, he's playing hard, but you got to play smart, too. Get there too late, and that's a big whistle. Right side, Westbrook. And Turner with the block. They get it back, and that one's good. Timeout call, East all -Star. Yeah, guys, I think he feels like he can make a few improvements during this timeout. Just kind of make a couple of adjustments and get his club back on track. You know, coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things mid-game. Actually, sometimes they overdo it. Anthony Davis, he's jumped in for Dirk Nowitzki. 141 left in the fourth quarter. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. 137 left to play in the final quarter. Nowitzki's gotten two of his three shots to go to. Well, what I like about him, Kevin, is his ability to shake a defender and loose off the dribble and find a high-quality shot for himself. He is a very slippery player. And another thing that stands out about him, Steve, he has the ability to score even with defenders. Great ball over. He's so strong around the goal. That was an A-plus trip to the line, but he did get them the lead. And Leonard gets it to go. He's doing it all for them right now on the offensive side. No matter what the defense has done, they haven't been able to find an answer to stop him. And he's had an answer for every defense he's seen. Irving kicks to Honda Takumba. He feeds it to Turner. It's blocked. And here we go. Money! And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the West All-Stars? Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And the other thing they're doing is they're forcing turnovers and then converting those miscues into points at the other end. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he is not helping their offense. Leonard attacking. Good! You know, something we're seeing less and less of these days, that little finger roll. And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. Now the dish to turn it. Here's Irving. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Perseverance paying off on the offensive boards, guys. And the East All-Stars making a change here. James has checked in. Well, what a great and one right there. These are the kind of plays that win you basketball games, guys. Here's Curry. Buries it. Oh, what a basket in at the perfect time. How about the courage and backbone of this guy? Wow. Timeout call, East All-Star. They're losing by four. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Irving. Inside, and will go the other way. Got a piece of it. Releases. They get it back. On the wing, Irving. Number six. Nails it. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Wow, he's got such a sweet three-point stroke. The way he can shoot it, forcing opposing bigs out of the corner to really open up the lane. So a close game sees the West All-Stars taking this one. Man, guys, I really like the way they gelled as a team out there. They'll take the bragging rights home for the rest of the season. Of course, nobody too worried about the outcome in this game. They're just happy to have played in. And we're happy to have brought... What it is, what it is, what it is.
is it? Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit. Get up, first shot, strut walking, a little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious, somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. Nope, nope, y'all can't copy. If I take you there Would you believe in fairy tales? Oh A place where no one feels the pain Living without suffering Roads are paved by loving hands Some of you 